So we're just looking at the categories of cloud computing. Now let's take a look at the types of cloud computing. And so we have this pyramid on the left-hand side. And the idea is that each type is reliant on the uh, technology beneath it, okay? And so the one at the top is called Software as a Service, also known as SaaS. And it is a product that is run and managed by the cloud service provider. So you don't worry about how the service is maintained. It just works and remains available. The keyword here is software. So imagine just using any old software, but it's over the cloud on the internet. So Salesforce, Gmail, Office 365. You could even consider Facebook or Twitter software as a service, okay? And these are specifically for customers. The next layer is platform as a service, uh, also known as PaaS. And this focuses on the deployment and management of your apps. So you don't worry about provisioning, configuring, or understanding the hardware OS. You can just upload your code uh, and it will do the rest, okay? And so here we would have things like Elastic Beanstalk on AWS, Heroku, or Google App Engine. And this is the original logo, and I always uh, love this logo, so I use it whenever I can. But the idea is that if you have a web application, you just want to deploy it and just focus on your code, that's what a pass is. And this is specifically for developers. And then on the bottom, we have Infrastructure as a Service, I-A-A-S. There's no easy way to say, uh, say this uh, as one word, but uh, this is the basic building blocks of cloud IT. It provides access to networking features, computers, and data uh, storage space. So you do not worry about the IT staff, the data centers, and the hardware. And for uh, this, uh, we have Microsoft Azure, AWS, uh, uh, for Google Cloud, and this is specifically for admins. And basically when we talk about a cloud service provider, one of the key components or characteristics of a um, cloud service provider is that they have an infrastructure as a service offering. If they don't have that, we don't usually call them a cloud service provider, we just call them a cloud platform. And uh, Google Cloud originally was a cloud platform. You didn't have IaaS offerings, and so that's probably where the origin of the name comes from, okay?